Hey everybody. Well, we're back in Nacogdoches after a uh, really good trip. First time that I've been away for an extended amount of time, four or five days, and come back to home in a new spot. But a familiar feel, if you will. First place I had to come look was this old garden and the peas are way up. And those old garden aliens, some of y'all call them weeds, had uh, grown just as well between the, uh, the peas. So spent my first uh, evening back right off the road couldn't stand it i had to get out there and hoe a little bit but we've got we've got them on the run i think something else i was was really cool is these uh, i guess these are amaryllis i'm not sure but um when i left uh, there was no stalk on these these plants and come back home and uh there they were they grew up and threw some flowers on to welcome us back this one went rogue i don't remember it being there but uh I guess we'll have to preserve it now. Put a little haircut on the place today. Dad, uh, so, hey Alicia, how are you? Dad has um, blessed me with coming up every other week or so that zero turn and we got a, a push mower, as y'all know, from my cousin. And um, we put a little haircut on it today. I guess that's, uh, that zero turn will do a quick job. It does a good job. But um, I guess that's kind of the, the difference between using one of those quick quick uh, shaving deals or a straight razor so we we kind of mowed it with a straight razor today it wasn't too bad it didn't take too long didn't have any rain it's starting to rain a little bit today just that good soaking rain i'm sure a lot of y'all are getting it hope hopefully you're not getting too much hey roxanne margaret stepped out of the lone star and went up uh, illinois way as most of y'all that follow the page know uh, spent some really cherished time with mom and family and and my sister and all my kids uh, for Father's Day. It was a quick trip, but boy, we had a good time and got to meet our precious new addition, little Il Isabella Rose. Of course, uh, now I get it. Everybody's just the prettiest and the cutest and the most darling, but uh, mine is. <laughs> hey, Joseph, how are you? But uh, we're back and got the guardian aliens, garden aliens, as I call them, on the run. We, uh, if y'all been following the page for any amount of time, you know the first couple of weeks here were pretty rough. Lost uh, cherished, cherished family friends and our two dogs. Um, in fact, this trip was supposed to have been the one that uh, Faith got little Malta back, but uh, things went a little bit different than any of us had expected. And uh, it's a big old place without without a dog on it. So we've been, been kind of looking, not in a big rush, but a big announcement tonight. Um, we've got a new addition. Let me let you look at him here. Y'all meet Hudson. Say hi, Hudson. Hey, baby. He's a happy little pooch. So, uh, mixed with a little ridgeback in him and, and, uh, big old feet. He's going to be a big dog. So, Hudson's now the, the man with the plan on the Washboard Chronicle site. We're going to, uh, do a little little housekeeping on the yard and things of that nature make sure we keep him out of that old road that's a bad deal come on hudson say hello y'all say hello to hudson i uh i was gonna name him either uh waylon or willie or country even but uh, i got shot down by the kids and we went with hudson so <laughs> that'll be all right he's uh got a really good temperament and uh doesn't jump around i think he's about seven months old but uh, he's going to love it out here. He was a puppy that needed a good home, and I think maybe he found one. So, yeah, it's uh, it's still a little odd, as y'all know, when you have to grieve over your old fur babies, it's tough to replace them. And you never really replace them. You just find another one to love. I guess that's uh, how that works. But my aunt uh, came up over the last few days and kept the chickens fed. Them little boogers are eating a lot. We're going to have to have another chicken killing. <laughs> Much as they're eating out there. But uh, old place is doing good. Did a little bit more brush clearing today. I decided to free up that the space under that old cedar tree. I don't know if y'all remember it. Pretty grown up. But we, uh, I got to do a little bit of brush trimming the other day. Having some issues with my old truck. Simple fix turned into a, a mess today. But we're going to get it knocked out. Y'all can see that's all cleared off today. <laughs> hey, Brenda, how are you? Way too much rain and windy. Yeah, y'all are getting pounded down there. Hi, Sharon and Teresa. 
Make sure I got everybody there. Hey, there's the stubble fields. Hey, Kenneth or Patricia, not sure which one of y'all is on here, but good to see you. Had a really good visit uh, up north. The, some of the best part of the trip was seeing mom uh, kind of glimpses of her old self, and she's always uh, had a good sense of humor and, and full of laughter and love, and, and uh, we got to experience all that as she saw her little grandbaby, her great-grandbaby. God, it's hard to even imagine. <laughs> but uh, you talk about lighting up. Man, that, uh, I guess those little babies will do that, won't they? Sure will. I saw some big, big smiles on my mama's face this, this last weekend. All of us enjoyed it. But uh, no, I hadn't been on since, uh, what was it, Thursday or Friday? Uh, not, a, not with a, a live chat, if you will. But, uh, it was all about family. Hope y'all had a good Father's Day celebrating with uh, dad or memories of dad and your family and those that you love makes a difference every memory's got to count hey charlotte how are you but um anyway we're letting little hudson get settled in this evening and uh so far he's took to the place i took him out to meet the chickens a while ago of course i knew what to expect there he didn't know what to think about them but they knew what they knew he didn't belong so Good thing they're not laying hens yet, because I probably wouldn't have eggs for a couple of weeks. <laughs> but he didn't bother them. We'll, we'll get them used to each other. Maybe him and big old Al will be best friends before it's over. You never know. But uh, Good to see Jordan lighting up. And and uh, Faith and Jeremy and the Lance and the rest of the crew is all involved with the, the dog naming. So, anyway, good stuff. So, we'll have to keep him, keep him safe and... Maybe we'll have a lot of good years with that poor pup. But anyway, just wanted to check in. Thank you all. and Got a busy week ahead. Just down to maintaining. I'll, I'll show you the garden. I'm old people coming on. A little close together. I got some plans for that. That's not a redneck slab. That's killing grass. And I'm going to plow all that up. So I figured I'd be a little a little smarter this time since I had a little time. I'm going to plant another, another batch and first of july for fall uh, figured i'd kill the grass this time instead of having to plow it as bad <laughs> might be easier to get those dead dead roots and getting it from green so soaking rain's good but uh, hoping none of y'all get too much of it hey barb how are you all right i'm gonna let y'all go for the evening and uh we're back in the saddle here on the old place and feels good to be home but uh, y'all have a good evening and Got a whole nother week to make a difference now. Be the light. We'll check in with y'all tomorrow. Bye.